to my channel. So today I wanted to give you a tour of my living room. I try to keep everything really simple and there's that's Chloe. Um, I try to keep everything really simple and minimal just because I don't like a lot of clutter and I find if I have less items in the room that it's a lot easier to keep everything organized. So I thought this video might be helpful to those of you who are moving into a new house or a new apartment and you need some ideas for how to design your living space, if, especially if you are trying to cut back on the amount of items that you're owning. You don't need to fill your space with a bunch of clutter. It actually makes your life a lot more hectic because you end up cleaning more. So it's a lot easier just to keep everything really clean and simple and you will end up cleaning a lot less. All right, so let's get into the video. So this is an overview of my living room. As you can see, I don't have many things hanging on the wall and I really do prefer that at the moment because I don't have any pieces that I really find that mean a lot to me. The only thing I really have on the wall in here is this piece. My sister painted it years ago. It's just a watercolor painting and it's actually a copy of the original. The original is a lot bigger, but I really do love this painting and I think of her when I see it and it's just so beautiful and I love how she painted it herself and it's not something that's mass produced. So it really does mean a lot to me. Moving on, we have this chair. This is my dog Chloe's chair. We joke about that because she's always laying on it and she's very territorial about her chair. And then we have this little shelf that sits across from the couch. I just keep some cute little plant babies on it. This is a Christmas cactus that's in bloom. A cactus that looks like a starfish. This is a new type of plant I bought this weekend. It's a Peperomia watermelon, and I just love the cup, the pattern on the leaves. It looks like a watermelon. It's really cute. I'm actually propagating it right now. This is a Pelea peppernomus, and another Christmas cactus. So this is the bottom of the bookshelf. I really cut back on my books a lot. I donated most of them. This whole top shelf was full of books before, and I had even more than that. So I really just cut back and donated the books that I don't read anymore and that I'm not going to use. This is pretty much all I have left. I think I have four more books upstairs and I will try to just use the library from now on so I'm not buying extra books that are just going to collect dust. I keep my laptop here. I make sure everything has a home so I always put my laptop on the shelf once I'm done using it. I have a recipe book here. That's my camera case. And then down here I keep all my cords. I do need to cut back on these even more. I have a lot and I did downsize a little bit, but I still do think I have too many, to be honest, there's a lot in there. But I keep them all. You can buy these little Velcro strips and they help keep your cords nice and organized. So that's a good, a good thing to do with cords. In the corner we have our TV. This is actually a side table to the couch, but we couldn't find um, an entertainment unit that would fit in this corner, so I'm sure eventually we'll find an actual entertainment unit. But at the moment, this works fine. We're really lucky to have an actual wood-burning fireplace, so it really does heat up the whole house in the winter, which is just awesome. I love it so much. And then you can see over the fireplace, I keep it really simple. I just have a few photos. That's actually a photo of my mom when she was a baby. So I really love this photo of her. It's really means a lot to me to see her. And then again, I have another photo of my mom as a baby and then my dog, Chloe. Over here is where we keep the firewood. We don't have any inside at the moment. We actually need to stock up on that so we can have a fire. And then as for my couch, I keep it really simple. I don't have a bunch of decorative pillows. I mostly just use this blanket as a pop of color and to add some interest to the couch. And Chloe is of course sleeping on the couch as always. She loves to cuddle up with her little blanket. Hi Chloe, wanna say hi? She's like, get out of my face girl. But yeah, she loves to cuddle on the couch. In the middle of the room we have our coffee table. We try to keep this table as clean as possible and just keep any clutter off of it because it just makes the room look a lot more organized when you don't have a bunch of clutter on the surfaces. And I have noticed it's a lot easier to keep your rooms clean if you have less furniture and less spaces for clutter. So if you just cut down on your furniture and don't have so many little 
areas for objects to just pile up. It makes your life a lot easier. All right guys, so that's it for the room tour. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below. You can also follow me on my Instagram. It's Juju Succulents. I do a lot of plant related material on there. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna continue with this minimalism series. I also talk about eco-friendly items on my channel and plants. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, be sure to subscribe. All right, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.